Gear Pal. Gear Pal. In Moscow, the Iraqis and Soviets are back in negotiations this morning, working out details of an agreed-to peace plan, one that the administration is still finding unacceptable. After late-night meetings with his advisors, President Bush is said to have raised serious concerns about several points in the Soviet plan, which calls for an end to the conflict and Iraq's total withdrawal from Kuwait. As the diplomatic maneuvering continues, so do hostilities. The Iraqis are even claiming that the long-awaited ground war has actually begun. The Pentagon spokesman is denying that today, Friday, February the 22nd, 1991. From NBC News, this is Today with Bryant Gumbel, Deborah Norville, and Joe Garagiola. And good morning. Welcome to today on a very busy Friday morning. Joe Garagiola has already got a head start on his weekend, and you're feeling better, I trust? I'm over the weather today, right. since I've been under the weather now for a couple of days. It's a good day to come back. You bet. In many ways, this is, uh, may wind up being the most crucial day of the, uh, of the war since it began back on January 16th. As noted, prosecution of the war is continuing, but the real fronts this morning are the diplomatic fronts. One going on in the nation's capital, where the president and his advisors continue to study the Soviet peace plan, and the other going on in Moscow, where at this hour, Tariq Aziz is meeting with his Soviet counterpart, Alexander Desmertik, and trying to fine-tune that Soviet peace proposal.